Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, it's uh, Rad and uh, in today's video we're going to check into the uh, 21st of uh, July 2022nd through Taro uh, just to see what the day has in store for us and uh, before I go to the reading just want to apologize in advance if I am kind of like sounding a, li a little bit winded here and there I do have a really, really strong headache and it just doesn't want to go away, uh, no matter how much pills I pop. So, if I do sound winded, I do apologize in advance about that. So let me uh, finish here the shuffle. Uh, obviously do the cut and uh, see what we got for the day. So the first card for the day, uh, that is going to be the uh, the Queen of Swords uh, here. Followed up with the second card of the day, which stands as uh, the Three of uh, the Three of Cups. And the final card for the day, uh, that is going to be Hermit, or the Hermit, so to speak. So this is the Elemental Dignity that represents uh, 21st of July, 2022nd. Well, for throughout that particular day, uh, we have to be very careful where we do place our trust with. In fact, I would strongly advise by the look of these cards, especially seeing here the uh, Queen of Swords being influenced by the Hermit, is that we do trust the healthy sense of mistrust, so to speak, no matter whom with today. And the reason for that, it is simply the, the agenda. Well, I can't really say exactly the agenda, just the importance of whatever we are discussing, the importance of the agenda, the whole nature of the agenda that we are chasing, that uh, our wife or a husband is chasing, colleagues, friends, and so on and so forth, is going to, at least according to these cards, is going to deviate from one another. Or in other words, what we see important is not going to be what our colleagues see important. What we think substantial, it's not going to be what our husband or a wife think it's substantial at this very moment, that doesn't mean for a lifetime. What we think it's intelligently and wisely to do, it is just the other side or the person that is working with us or it is involved into the situation is not going to see it that way. So it's a day where we, uh, it's very likely that we're going to feel quite, um, left in the cult, rather like alone in what we are doing, although we may be uh, at this moment surrounded by people which are striving for the same goal. It's just, like I said, the paths to that goal, uh, it's going to be seen differently from one person to a, another. Not to mention that having the Queen of Swords, that is a miles worse than having the King of Swords, at least in that particular situation. That is because the Queen of, of Swords, it's ready to fight tooth and nails. No matter the cause, no matter if, to, if it is a winning cause, no matter if it is a, a losing cause. Now, that, that is the difference in between these two. The King, the king of Swords is never gonna throw things in in a losing cause the queen of swords doesn't doesn't care it is just she can do it she does it that's she she does things because she can that that's the thing and i'm saying she because it's a queen but it could represent a a, a person or organization for that matter uh, as well so once again very important not to trust everyone um and even the most trusted people just approach them with a grain of salt today that is that is my appeal uh to you uh looking at uh, these cards and uh on another topic uh having the queen of swords next to the three of cups that pretty much speaks that we are going to find it very difficult to relate emotionally with people even the most beloved one uh it is just the it is just the atmosphere the tension of the atmosphere itself and it's because and and just because things aren't going our way today it, that should not be a prerequisite that we do burst out on 
you know, on our children or uh, on our person of interest, friends, family, etc., etc. It's just it's, it's important that we do sleep on it because under the prime energy of the Queen of Swords, we may say things that we are going to regret. And if you do something wrong, you can always reprimand it right you can you can always fix it but if you say something wrong it always stays there i mean you cannot take it but once you say it you cannot take it back even if you are forgiven this is the the sound of what you said is is gonna linger out there it's never fully forgiven so uh tread tread carefully today guys tread cautiously and uh oh, just by the look of these cards sometimes the results doesn't justify the means and if our means are going to hurt someone today their feelings or god forbid physically it's not worth it i mean according to these cards it isn't worth it it's just nothing is more important at least according to these cards for that uh, particular day to uh, pretty much kill a relationship one way or uh, or another so avoid confrontation avoid direct clash even with a competition today and avoid as well trusting people once again why it is because they are not going to see eye to eye with us and if not anything else it just is going to this confrontation and trust or rather like entrusting not rather trusting but entrusting Okay. it's like sharing what you have in mind so this the very least is going to sparkle a kind of like a, an argument is going to sparkle a, even a fight wrangle that nobody nobody literally needs so that's uh that's pretty much uh the daily uh the daily guidance if you crave for certain results or you gotta make definitively a results today like for example you do have a deadline on a project and you gotta basically produce some kind of results today if you push yourself really really hard you can definitely do that uh, but unfortunately once again these results are not going to be as important as you would like them to be that doesn't mean that in the future you cannot uh, produce a meaningful results maybe for the time being uh, being these uh, results that you're going to be able to produce today are going to suffice but once again they're not going to be as big as you expect them to be just so just so you know and um if you cannot avoid that confrontation with uh, this person or organization queen of swords well i would say too bad because uh, these one are dedicated okay the, the, these are out of out for blood and it's best to ignore that's what i found through my experience with the cards it's best to ignore the queen of swords the more you answer the the war cry the more tenacious they become so if you can just you know it's not even about wavering it's about stepping aside so if you can step aside you're going to do yourself a favor and you're going to do them a favor of a failure because they they it's a failure when when you sacrifice so much for something that is not going to be as important as uh, as you would want it to be and that's exactly what they are going to get should they chase that agenda so with that said uh, this is uh, today's uh, daily tarot uh, reading hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it hopefully um, it's going to prevent something unpleasant happening today 21st of july 2022 um, in your environment and hopefully in mine as well and uh, we're going to see each other next time until then bye